Dan just downloaded SFM. He opens it up and spends 10 minutes trying to figure out what no map loaded means. He then searches through YouTube and learns the basics and made this. How would you critique this? The surface scattering could be better. Please refer to the holy righteous bible of three-point lighting. If you properly learn Photoshop or Paint.net, it could really improve it. And Steg, you? Are you guys real? Character poses aren't easy, especially if you're not used to it. Let's take some time to memorize a few rules that if you follow, you'll at least be better than a beginner. Unless you're already incredible at it, spend your time on your poses, and don't just do a few bones, try to do most of them and change them significantly. This helps with making something less stiff. Because T-Pose is the definition of stiff. Also, refrain from using sequences, they can be useful, but if you really want to be good at SFM, and like just posing in general, you gotta do it yourself. Unless it's hands, then you can use it. No one likes hands. Artists when speed sketching people in poses, aka figure drawing, simplify their forms into something like this. The principle is very helpful to us as SFM users. For you see, the simplified structures they draw, doesn't that look familiar? That's right, they look exactly like the skeleton rigs inside of our models. By breaking down the body's shapes into the most simplest of forms, we are able to see the poses very easily. Where if we were to copy the pose from a drawing or a photo, we could simply examine the distances and angles of the bones to completely replicate the pose. And when I say examine, I mean really, actually think about it. Notice how some bones are like angled forward and others are slightly back and you know, so forth. This is something that if you're not used to, you really gotta train your artist eye for. Now sometimes reference isn't always an option, so now we're gonna go over something that should help with that. I'm just gonna call it weight balance. When you have a pose, the weight is shifted onto one particular side or leg, which affects the tilt of the entire body, which can be shown like this. Notice the angle of the pelvis when the leg is shifted onto one side, and notice the placement of the chest and shoulders. Then there's the matter of stiffness. When a character is performing in an action, like a punch or just being tense, it makes sense for the bones to be very sharp in order to give the emotion. But usually what new SFMers do is just make the stiff bones on calm situations. By bending the bones to create arcs in places when there would be a lack of pressure, it really helps it out. If I were to describe it as an artist term, making things sharp, like triangles, when conveying aggressiveness, and curvy and oval-like angles when trying to show calmness. Of course, you can argue that these two spectrums are kind of vague and you can be anywhere on the spectrum, and that would be correct, but I think it's important to understand this just in general. Now that we have covered that, let's go over it in practice. Alright, step one. Figure out what you want to do. At this point, if you consider yourself an art person, you could sketch out what you want to do for your poster. But I'm going to go on a hunch and say that most of you guys don't want to do that, which is fine. So I'm just going to go on to Google and grab a good reference image. You guys can follow along if you want to. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to be using this reference image with the scout. When I start to pose my characters, I usually tend to just put on the biped simple rig, which can be found in the by right clicking the model going to rig and then ignore all this, you don't have this. I explained this in other tutorials before, but it basically changes how the feet, arms, and pelvis behave with each other. And I like this because, especially for this scenario, is you can make them sit down. Like this. Uh, we gotta fix the camera angle. He's not actually on the floor. We might need to move over here, actually. You really just have to look at the angles of how he's sitting. It's a lot to do with the spine and how much you can see of an area. If it helps you, you can draw over your reference image to help you see the relationships easier. Okay, I already found a problem with this. I have to put this foot underneath this one so it goes like around here. And um, the problem with cartoon characters is that sometimes they're exaggerated in terms of like their proportions.
beginners don't know how to pose because they are not used to making, I guess, realistic ones, but people who are already used to it, they use reference in a way where they're not copying, they're just taking something that they like from the pose and then applying it. Like, that's kind of what I do with most of my posters. I see something that I like, and then I fix it in a way where it's something I like more. <laughs> For practice, you can copy a pose, but realistically, you don't always have to go 100%. You can just get something from the pose that you like and then move on with your life. You can use multiple references. That's, that's the whole point of that. Okay, so... We're getting close to the point where starting to look a little bit similar. I don't want to break his shoulders on accident. So let's just check with the feet. Let's just do the feet. Um, his knee appears to be really close to the ground, so I gotta bring that here. Okay, that actually looks about right. Let's just change, like, this neck is like that. His chin is not being covered by his hand. His hand is in the middle of his chest, so about here. His foot appears to be a little further out, I guess. Not that far out. I'm gonna have to fix this in the other mode. Oh, my God. oh, it was extended. So his elbow meets his leg around here, so that that's gonna have to go down. We can ignore the backpack. I don't care. <laughs> okay. So now that I have, I'm sort of rushing this because I know this isn't gonna be a poster of mine. Uh, that's a really bad habit I have. So don't do that. Please don't do that. Um, like, I would spend like an hour if I would need to. More than an hour working on a pose if I wanted to perfect it. But right now I'm... <laughs> I'm just trying to explain to you guys. So you're basically looking for relationships between your reference image and your model. So, like I said, the hand is in the center of the chest, a little bit lower than the neck. And the... Um, the knee is supposed to be higher than this. I think my, a lot of it might be the camera angle. I don't know. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but for some people, it might need to be. Because when you're a beginner, you're not hard enough on yourself. I mean, you're hard, <laughs> or you know what skill level you're at, and you want to get better, which is good, but um, you're not hard enough on yourself on like, I guess, the specific angles of your posing, because you're not looking, like, hard enough, I guess you could say. Um, okay, so it's, it's out, or outward, like that. Okay, now we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, the hand is curved down. His ear is, like, tilted upward, like that, I think. His overall shape of his head is... That, I'm not going to care about facial expressions too much because this is simple. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to have to right click him, uh, detach biped. Okay, now he's a normal FK model once again, which is what they spawn in. Uh, you don't have to do this. It's actually probably better if you don't, but I just, I grew up doing, I grew up, I, uh, I learned this way. That's my issue. Doesn't have to be yours. It can be if you want to. Here's a nifty trick. If you want to reset uh, a thing, 
the default slider, you just select the bone and you hit default. <laughs> default. Is this the same thing? Default. Okay, so now we got this. Great. So we can just put this here. I really shouldn't be using this tool because it doesn't really let you see stuff very easily. Okay, so we got our initial pose. Okay, so like I said, our hands. Wow, those are some ugly fingers. Um, so you just get to the fingers bar. Fingers bar under right arms. Oh. It says rig arms. I just noticed that. Um, so under rig arms, you just right click the right fingers, import sequence, and which finger is this? this is the the right hand? So it's the bottom one. He's got a fist. So you can use your. You just click on one, and then you, you can use your um, your arrow keys. There you got a fist. Now he's got a fist. This other one is a, a slightly open fist. I would argue. So import sequence, use your arrow keys, uh, nope. I remember back when I first started using SFM and I didn't know that there was a fast way of going through the sequences and I couldn't just scroll like this and it was awful. So now you guys know if you didn't know that. Close enough. <laughs> okay. So, um, always remember to clean up your your left behinds. And this lighting is atrocious, so let me just do this real quick. Every every art person I've ever watched who does tutorials says this at the end. Take your time longer than I have, because we're trying to give you information, but we're not exactly wanting to finish this poster. <laughs> or, you know, you know what I mean. So take your time. Here, I'll make it I'll, I'll make the quality slightly higher just just so you guys feel happy about this. Here. See this ear? Let's make this let's just Okay, so take your time more than I have and mess with it more. You can do this with like pretty much anything. I'm gonna be streaming soon, probably. <laughs> I have a Twitch channel that you guys can check out in the description. Uh, I'm probably gonna make some posters there. You can also follow my Twitter if you want to know ahead of time of when I'm gonna be doing that, so yeah. Uh, this poster isn't that great, but the pose is decent, and there's clipping in it, but you can fix that in Photoshop. <laughs> anyway, that's the video. I hope you guys learned from it, and if you guys want to learn other things, comment, and it, maybe I already made a tutorial. I don't know. Okay, bye!